The hot, rocky desert land in the middle of southern Idaho looks almost otherworldly, alien, like the surface of the moon. But in fact, it's closely tied to the conception of this planet, Earth and its inner molten core. And that's how continents replenish themselves. That's how new land is created, is by volcanic eruptions. Greg Reed is the lead interpretive ranger at Craters of the Moon National Monument. We're um, a very unique lava landscape. We're a volcanic area. This is some of the youngest land in the continental United States. The preserve, established in 1924, invites guests to visit the past. We started having lava flows about 15,000 years ago. We've had at least eight major eruptive periods. Lava flow curves remain visible to this day. Patterns frozen in time when flows first reached surface long ago. The last time it erupted. Our most recent was 2100 years ago. That's extremely recent. The pressure of magma 25 miles under the surface remains active. We absolutely expect there to be another eruption here in the next 100 years. On a hot day, at craters of the moon in the middle of the summer temperatures can get up to the upper 90s and low triple digits but the surface temperature of this black lava rock can get up to 150 degrees and that's not even the hottest this rock has ever been when it first came out of the ground in the form of lava it was 2000 degrees fahrenheit approximately so the things that we learn about volcanism here on earth that knowledge is applicable to the solar system and beyond. And as it turns out, this park has a connection to space beyond its namesake. Volcanoes found in space help scientists distinguish an active planet from an inactive one, which could lead to discoveries of life. We theorize that early life on, on Earth started in really primitive volcanic conditions. As an international dark sky park, the absence of light pollution here allows for some stellar night sky viewing. Craters of the Moon is a great place to come out and observe the Milky Way. Hiking, spelunking, camping, recharging in nature, all available to those visiting this rare landscape off Idaho's back roads. We're really excited about this year because it's, it's, it's a normal year where we're kind of resuming normal operations and our rangers get to be in front of the public being rangers again. Geneva Zoltek, Idaho News 6.